Hi, and welcome to or welcome back to The Huddle TV. I'm Rita, Marketing Manager here at Ori Nimi, and today I'm going to walk you through how I like to style my charts and how you can do the same to make them presentation ready. So you have the base of your chart either by manual build, data import, or Organimi Connect integrations. Now let's style it up. The first thing that we'll want to do is create and name our theme so that we can apply it to this chart and also add it to our themes library. I can easily create a custom theme in Organimi by clicking the theme icon in the dashboard, then clicking create custom theme and naming my theme. In today's example, I'll be naming my theme Organimi theme. After naming your theme, you have the option to make it the default theme for the organization, meaning that any new chart that's added to the org will have that theme applied, or you can choose to apply it to this current chart only. Once I select submit, my theme will be created and I can get to editing. What I would recommend, especially if you're sharing your chart and using it for onboarding, is to use your brand colors within your theme. In this example, we'll be using Momentum. I'll be drawing inspiration from their logo as well as the brand colors that they use on their website. By doing so, I can create a theme that looks something like this. If you're looking for theme inspiration, you can go to our wiki org charts resource on our website and skim through numerous organizations and their charts. The first tab in themes will let you customize your cards, so you can choose the card shape from rounded, square, and circle, and also the frame thickness, which I'll be leaving on regular. For the frame color, the card background color, and the chart background color, you can select from the ones that Organimi already has available, or you can paste in your own hex code, which is what I'll be doing here. Now that I've added my colors, I'm able to change the card width if I'd like. So for example, I'll change it to 240 to make the cards a little bit longer. I can also choose the height strategy. So do I want it to be best fit for the role types to share the heights or to all roles to have the same height? I can then also choose what kind of text I want displayed for the vacant roles. So do I want it to say vacant? Do I want it to say hiring? It's all completely up to me. And then I can choose the role color position. So for example, if I wanted to add a role color for Abigail's role card, who is the CEO, I could do that here and we'll use that same green in the example. And then I'll hit save. You'll see that once I've done that, she has the role color here displayed at the top of her card, which is what we have selected. If I wanted to do the full card, we could select that and you'll see that the full card is displayed and then we could do left, right, or bottom. The next tab in themes lets you customize your counts. For this example, I'll be turning off the subordinate count and you'll see that the numbers disappear as soon as I check this off. The next tab that we have in themes is fields, which is one of Organimi's most useful features. Not only are you able to customize the look and feel of your existing fields, but you're also able to add more custom fields. For example, if I wanted to include pronouns in my chart, I could do so by adding a field label that's titled pronouns under the text field type and then add field. And then when I go into an employee role card, I can scroll down and that field will be available right there for me to fill in. In the theme settings, you're able to customize which fields are displayed on your role card versus what fields are displayed when you click the card itself. So if I want to show the pronouns that I just added, I'll just select those and then they'll be displayed on the cards themselves. I've now added and displayed all of my custom fields. So let's move on. The next tab will allow me to customize my legend and we'll now be creating one. To create a legend, I'll simply select the legend icon up here. I can then title my legend, but I'll leave it as legend for now. I'll then select add legend item. Once I've done that, I can select a color for the badge and then I can title what the badge will be applied for. So in this case, I'll title it C-Level Executives. And then I can browse through badges to see what best applies and fits my legend item. In this case, I'll just use this icon and then I can add some coloring rules. So in this case, our C-level executives are Abigail, Charles, and Eric. So what I'll do is I'll add some rules for the job role title to contain CEO, COO, and CFO. Once I hit save, you'll see that all three of those C-level executives have now earned their badge. Legend badges are a great way to color code your chart and make it a lot more visually appealing and easier to understand. Back to the legend tab in themes, you're able to change the title, change the badge shape from square, circle, or stretch, and also change the advanced color display. Next in themes, you're able to customize your connecting lines for both your primary roles and your secondary roles. 
In today's example, I'll be keeping the solid line style, but I'll be changing my line thickness to thick and also changing my line color. With photo customization, you're able to change the photo shape, position, and size. You're also able to select if you want your photos displayed or not displayed. This is a good option if you don't have any photos to display. However, if you want something displayed but you don't have photos of your own, you're able to scroll down and select what to show when no photo is available. In today's example, I'll be changing the photo position to the center and also the photo size to medium. If you have vacant roles in your chart, you're also able to select if you want to show a photo for those vacant roles and if you do, what you want to show. Next, you're able to adjust your roll card sorting and stacking. I like mine how it is, so I'm going to leave it this way. Under the general theme settings, you'll see that there's an option for role specific theme settings. And here, you're able to enable an override for the shared assistant department or location role. So for example, Benjamin is an assistant, so I want him to stand out. I'll enable the override and then I can change the photo and the field settings that I have applied for him and this won't change for any of the other role types in the chart. I can also scroll down and change the field settings for his name. For example, if I want to change the color, I'll change it to black and you'll see that that will only be applied to his role and nobody else in the chart. And there you have it. You now know how to take your chart from this to this and so much more. Here are just a few more examples of what you can do with themes in Organimi. Here's an example of Reddit's org chart, Pila's org chart, Nestle's org chart, and Unilever's org chart. If you have an idea for themes or think something is missing, be sure to send us an email at support at That's all for now. Don't forget to subscribe to and check out our video library, The Huddle TV, available on YouTube and our website, and follow us on LinkedIn, Facebook, YouTube, and TikTok to stay engaged and updated on what's new and coming. Bye.